interesting one where it comes down to how it's been going. Actually, pull this up real quick. It comes down to matchups. I think we might actually get ourselves into this. And instead of playing Mario, they're going to be playing this Aegis right here. Actually, interesting pick coming in. Which, of course, you're able to get that damage output with Mithra, but able to actually get those type of stocks with Pyra. So I do... It is actually a, not that bad of a choice coming in from them. So we're going to actually see how they come into this. Going to be going to the Ryle Wanderer Man Myth the Legend Pokemon Stadium 2. We know just how many people love this stage. And sometimes they're just a case of, let me just gentlemen right to the stage. It don't matter how it goes. We're going to get ourselves into it. And this is actually going to be seeing my first time seeing Cobra's, um, Cobra's Pithra actually right here. So we have to see how the Aegis comes out on board. Already tricky position for Lucario. Let's get that to see how they actually press her around that ledge and around that stage. Looking for the up B right there. Unfortunately, going in from there, a little overextension, actually. Actually, oh, feeling themselves a little bit too much. They have to actually be super careful in those type of positions. So we're gonna have to see how it plays. Lucario going to definitely be taking out that stock, and that's their stock god. And now the two stocks would be. I, I missed that entirely. My apologies. Gonna be playing that off the of case. Gonna get that jab here in the place. But both people definitely struggle when it comes down to the case. The Kalia one also, when it comes down to movement a lot of times, as well when it comes down to disadvantage, you do have that aura spirit to try and work around a lot of those moves. When it comes down to also just whether that be B reverses or all, all of those type of things on the board. It really does come down to just how you try and move it around. If you're not able to get it, then there's always those positions. But anyway, gonna be switching back to Mithra here. Probably just saying, I need a little bit of movement on the board, and you're moving straight into that F smash. Going to be taking it right in the gutter. You gotta worry yourself right there as you've been chosen for this Pokemon match. And now we'll call you with the stop right there. The Lightning Buster trying to send them out the other way, catching onto that recovery. But now we see Lucario with Rage here, 139% on the board here. Maybe this is where that counter coming in for Pyra there and going to get that stock off. Now I'm actually, more think about it, I definitely am actually liking this counter pick from um, Cobra with the change here. More or less just saying, I need Pyra for the kills, Mithra for the damage, and now you gotta get all that type of things on the board. And if you can't work around that, then that always can be a tricky position. I mean, trying to set up that combo, missing onto it. I also know a lot of times the ways that Mithra can struggle to combo as well on the um, five frame delay on that online position. So you do have to also be careful a lot of the times when it comes down to it. So anyway, Lucario working for the aura combo again, but good awareness from Cobra. Just gonna lay back a little bit instead of doing any sort of Kalias options. But now I think we're near damn percentage and it doesn't even matter. Going to get that F smash. Lucario definitely going to be feeling themselves there. Going to be taking game one right there. Good performance coming in. I do want to see how Kuma tries to change this up as well. Perhaps they were actually air dodging a little bit into a lot of those Lucario moves. And you have to definitely try and be a little bit careful as those are, when you hold on to that F smashes, those are just absolute changes that will be super hard to struggle with. Right in there. We're going to try and see where it comes here. They do have the Mario on the platform, which I was expecting the Mario pick to come out here. But perhaps they're going to, maybe they're just practicing for this matchup. Perhaps they are trying to try something out here. Or perhaps they played this matchup with Mario and just don't like it. There's a lot of things when it comes down to counter picking, it, when it comes down to just general positions. It really does come down to. How, what you're feeling, or how you're really feeling it if you're going to rep the Xenoblade, Xenoblade pick right there. So anyway, are they going to be changing it up? Yep, I was expected. Going to be changing with the Mario here, actually. Don't really know the exact stage, but probably going to go more so towards the stage that they can't explode on 
them towards positions. And yes, gonna be going towards battlefield here. We see the lag combos that Mario can get on this stage, but in general, neutral just works a lot when it comes down to movement options. That small ground space allows Mario to definitely try and get those burst options on the other players. And as a general, Battlefield is a, a very big stage um, vertically, but when it comes to horizontal space, you don't have a lot of space to work with as well. So a lot of times you'll end up getting yourselves cornered in a lot of positions. Anyway, Cobra trying to get the combos on the board with the down throw here, looking for the fair, and that stock is gone. You have been deleted out of here. This adaption coming in from Cobra is working out for numbers. Hit hits like a Twitter banger. It's going worldwide. Now Lucario gonna be changing up here. I do also know that Lucarius do definitely like the stage because it also allows Lucario to live a little bit longer as well. So maybe Lucario's just like, I don't need to worry too much on towards living, but you do have to worry about so many of these combos coming in from Cobra. When it comes to where's your DI as well? Looking for that anti-air. I do actually want to see Lucario playing a little bit more of that space, whether that be using a little bit more of those uh or spears, like those charge or spears, and try and get around it. Because a lot of the times Cobra is just staying on the ground and then catching on to um, Lucario in the air when it comes down to the way they're trying to move. So perhaps just gonna catch on to those things, wait for um, Cobra to try and throw those things on shield. Nice counter, but not too much damage onto it. That is more so just a vibe check saying, you gotta stop mashing on me. Going to get the grab there with the four throw. Are we going to see the cape? No, it's just going to go to the dash attack there. Oh, almost, almost going to see something with that parry, but not going to get much there right there. Another thing, the struggle, it comes down to it. A lot of times, the card, you will catch on to it with a neutral getup. What they were able to catch on the Cobra before, a lot of times, Cobra was doing those neutral getups, trying to actually just go through the, um, just the shield, the or spear. But that was just landing them even more, a lot of times, into this confirms that Lucario 1 was going for. So perhaps, I do like this change, to be jumping a little bit more out of there to where it's out actually a little bit more a position there. But now gonna get that stock off. Cobra looking poised to be moving on through this bracket when it comes down to the second game, getting something going. But can Lucario needs Lucario one needs to get the stock off without taking too much damage here. Oh my goodness, playing a good space in there. Trying to look for the back air. Not going to get it. I'm definitely expecting some things right here, but definitely definitely be expecting some ways that it changes. And one thing here is going to be how you get the stock off because a lot of players will struggle in these positions! And that is how you do it. Cobra bringing Mr. Mario Jumpman out in the board. Going to get that ladder combo, working that counter pick for the Miles, and that will be how they do it. Going to be taking that game two and going to be moving on to game three. Definitely love whenever we get these game threes. Definitely love when those type of things get out. Because a lot of times you'll have that. But yeah, I am surprised. It definitely, it didn't look like it was going to work, but it did. You can't doubt the jump man themselves in a lot of those positions. You've got to be callous. You've got to be careful as well. But anyway, Lucario won. Having to now deal with this Mario counter pick, I do kind of want to see how they play a little bit more with space. Perhaps actually, maybe playing a little bit more grounded there. Because when it comes down to a lot of ways that um, Cobra was bursting onto it, it was either with those type of grabs, it was either with grab or grab down throw, or it was with those back ears into the grabs. So I kind of want to see a little bit more of those R movement options, maybe a little bit higher on those type of stages. So those are always those type of things right there that really comes out. She right there trying to get that soft, gonna get that down there as well on those type of tech chase positions. Kaya one was also a little bit struggle in the disadvantage. I was first, we were first wondering a lot as to how they were going to deal with that type of pressure. So that might be the way you need to change it up as well. And it comes down to a lot of things. Anyway, gonna be going on to Smash Figure. Let's actually get ourselves into it. Let's now. Gonna actually, I do interesting pick here actually, because number one thing I 
was seeing is this does also give a lot of ways for Mario to extend those combos, but you don't really have to worry about those latter combos killing you as much as they were earlier. So we'll have to see how that changes up. I'm trying to get the counter on the fireball, but not able to get that quite. Trying to play around with that space, looking for the back air. Maybe not not in back air for sense for Lucario for it to be like astronomically dangerous or like where you have to air when it comes down to Pokemon. But you have to also worry about those neutral gaps again. That is, that is, you got that vibe check. You have got to worry about like doing those neutral gaps against Lucario because they are looking for you to air dodge right afterwards. And you've got to be careful in so many of those positions. But now Lucario feeling themselves again. Not going to, and I almost, I did like that option coming in from Cobra, but you have to expect as well, that is what they're playing around. Instead of trying to work as to how to hit it, you need to also just work how to evade it as well. Because as you are getting on to 40% with Lucario with Rage, and F Smash will do it by the ledge if they are able to land it. And already you can see that is what Lucario is looking for. Cobra trying to get that F Smash to try and finish it off. They play around with the space here. Gonna be setting up that ledge trap. And I think another thing when it comes down to Kario's recoveries, most of the time when they recover, they either recover very high or they recover very low to where Cape doesn't put them in too much of a position for it to recover. And actually, I do wonder if um, Cobra is aware of th that Cape in this matchup for it to possibly work out. Because a lot of the times, they've mostly just relied on those combos and those burst options. And even against Aura Spear, it could be used for like reflecting those things right back. But anyway, going to get that back go in, trying to finish that stock off 200%, and could easily bring it back with just a simple Mario combo. As we see it start right now, unfortunately, actually drifting leftward instead of rightward there. But now we see the combo going in. Good DI from Lucario 1, DI'ing that upward for Cobra to not get the grab to extend that combo. Now we see here another way that they try to play around it. Continue playing the space. This should be the stock if they catch onto it. Not quite. Cobra actually recovering high in that type of position. That is a tricky, that is always tricky. No matter which way you look at it. Cobra actually trying to slow this down a little bit, knowing that they don't want to lose this stock right now. Mario can ride with this rage for some of these uh, conversions, but Kayo can get the stock right here if they're able to get this position. Looking for the combo starter is Cobra. But both of them uh, definitely play footsies around each other, not wanting to give either of them what they want. Jumping right into that aura spear. Oh, tricky position! And that's gonna be Lucario to take off that stock. One more to be moving on through this bracket. However, they need to find something. Cobra was able to find so many combos in the last game, but now with this, like, with that platform being taken away, now having a lot more of a struggle when it comes down to how that goes. And that F smash! Oh my goodness! Just. Feeling it! I am sorry, Mario. You have breaking up. I've seen the one-ups right there. Go ahead and be taking that stock at 80%. And now we got ourselves an even game. 22% on the board. Right now, Cobra looking for the combos to get something going. Looking for the grab. Perhaps this is the way you can get a down throw into those near combos. Finally using a cape that they needed. There's a chase around with the space again. Trying to catch on toward those pace again. We're seeing it slow down, both of them not wanting to give each other them room. Not wanting them wanting to go down on the playground. Not one of them looking to get fully the following morning. But now, Lucario, tricky position. Is this the cape? Going to get the dash pack attack there. Okay, going to recover back to the stage, but or Lucario is on board right now, trying to get trying to get something to finish it off. They are also in or back air position. If they're able to get by the ledge. And you can see they're looking for the back air. Looking for the back looking for the forward smash. That's not gonna do it for the stock. But Cobra needing one more good hit. One more good back throw. Dash attack not going to do it. They need to find a way to recover here. Actually going to get back on the stage. Lucario, tricky position. Looking for an aura confirm or some sort of hit. Cobra just fighting just one straight 
good aerial to finish this off. But Lucario gonna have to be moving around the stage. Trying to use that speed to the advantage. But now bad position. Almost catching on to it. Oh my goodness. Trying to catch on to it. That like that's blocked off, but not able to catch on to it. You can actually see Cobra just throwing out so many moves. They want this win and they get the win. They got the win. And Cobra in a such a scary situation going to be moving on to top eight. Oh my goodness. That was a set for you. Definitely was expecting that Mario counter pick to come in. Perhaps was trying to try something out with the um, Aegis counter pick at game one. But now you change that up. We change that case. Go what you're more comfortable with. Go with what you know. Then that is how you get those type of wins. That is... But that's a good performance coming in. Not too bad coming in from Lucario. I was enjoying the ways that they were setting up those ledge traps. A lot of those positions. But Cobra, whenever they just had advantage, they would just ride with it. And that early stock, that was just exactly what they were able to work around. So good stuff coming in from both players. Cobra will be moving on to two top eight winners. And Lucario still has a chance and loses to make it through top eight. And it's not over for both players. And that that is how you do it, no matter which way you look at it. Oh my goodness. That... I'm sorry, that already got me something. That already got something going right, right there. <laughs> that already got something going. So anyway, got to see who we have up next for our next winner set. Probably going to see which one they have. Of course, when it comes down to who Cobra will be fighting next, either fighting the winner of Cytonix versus Cool Kid, and then Dark Falcon on the other side of winners will be fighting the winner of Johnny versus Ogre. Got to see how that will be changing up in a lot of those positions as well.